Convicted felon and former University of Miami booster Nevin Shapiro tells Yahoo Sports he provided impermissible benefits to at least 72 Hurricanes athletes from 2002 through 2010. Shapiro contends that at least six coaches, including former head basketball coach Frank Haith, were aware of violations, including gifts, parties, lodging, and money. Shapiro also says he paid for prostitutes for players, and in one instance, an abortion. This is an absolute disaster in potential, at least, for Miami football and basketball. Before now, it doesn't matter what the conference, just kick them out right now. If true, how bad is this, Jackie? Death penalty bad? Oh, absolutely death penalty bad. There's nothing hanging in the balance here. These guys are at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's over for this program. This is as bad as SMU. If there was ever a case for the death penalty, this is the case. The University of Miami does not care about integrity when it comes to its football program. It never has. Again, you are done. The death penalty is the only solution here. You've got to shut this program down. You've got to do it as soon as possible. You think Miami deserves the death penalty if these allegations are true? Well, even if half of them are true, think about it. It's over 70 players, half a dozen coaches over a 10-year span, and not only one sport, but multiple sports. Now, if you're going to break the rules, that's a way to break the rules. I mean, they didn't stick their toe and they dove in the deep end on this one. And even if it, only a third of this is true, think of that compared to the other programs that have been put on probation in the past. This is an excellent case for Mark Emmerich, the president of the NCAA, to step up and make a stand, make an example out of this situation so it doesn't happen again. I can tell you what I think is going to happen. That penalty. <laughs> what you know now would you still be here yeah absolutely this universe of Miami it's a special place it, it, it is I, I can't I can't tell you enough that this is an incredible place and uh, that uh, you know you, you, you have a chance to do so many wonderful things whether it's academically or, or from a f football standpoint we've, we've, we've made so much progress in the last eight months that uh, we don't want to go backwards it's very really important for our program that we move forward and, uh, and get back to uh, practice and get ready for, uh, for no. I I'm excited about our team. Again, I I'll keep saying it, and I'll say it proudly. We have great kids on this team. We have tremendous kids on this team.